queen of the stitch, my girl Dane the Hello there my crafty knitters. Welcome back to the Knitted Oaks channel. Today I have before you um, a six stitch I cord that I joined in the round. I simply um, sewed up the two ends together using the um, cast on long tail and the tail that was left after the bind off and I just joined it in together. I do have a video on that also that I will post a link to here in this video and in the description box for you to check out. Um, this video has been requested on how to pick up stitches off of an I-cord. And um, I thought it was very fascinating of an idea. I've never tried it. I've done patterns that I've skipped this part. I've just gone ahead and done a regular brim of a hat or beret. Um, but I think it's very unique. And now I'm in the process of designing my very own um, hat with so an I'm, I-cord. I'm going to be picking up stitches from here. And I'm going to continue to go up along this, this braid right around... So we get back to this side. So when picking up stitches, you want to decide if you're going to do it purl wise or knit wise. Why? Because um, there's a difference. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick my needle through the stitch that I'm going to want to break, pick up the stitch from. So it's a little tight because this is the one closest to the knot. Bear with me. Here we go. So I got my needle in there. And it's just through one side of the V, as you can see. Um, if you prefer, you can also slip your needle through both ends of the V if you want. But I'm just going to do one. Just one side. All right. Then, with your needle, you want to make sure, with your yarn, sorry. Oh, and I should clarify that I am using a double pointed needle to do this tutorial um, because that's just my preference and then when there becomes too many stitches on the double pointed needle I will then con um, transfer all of my stitches to a circular needle because obviously it's going to be knitted in the round so it's going to accumulate a lot more stitches than what one um, double pointed needle can hold or if you want you can do a bunch of double pointed needles. You don't have to transfer to circulars if you don't want to. But again, switching it to circulars is just my preference. All right, so here I have my yarn and I loop it over just so that I have a little tail left, but we're gonna be working obviously with the side that's still connected to the ball of yarn. But I'm starting right here because I wanna leave a good amount of tail off to um, weave in at the end. So you're just gonna drape the needle the yarn over the uh, your needle and what I do is I pull it a little bit and then I slip it under so I, I do like that and I, I pull it through so I just picked up a stitch alright and then don't worry about it being loose. You can go ahead and tug at it, make it tight if you'd like. Then you go, make sure you're not going to continue with the, 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 the end that you're leaving off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull mine in a little bit. If I have a long tail. Okay. So making sure I have the right end left, I go under my very next stitch. Because this is going to be um, headgear, I'm going to, I'm not going to skip any of my my stitches. I'm going to go right along the braid. Each and every stitch will be, I'll pick up a piece through it. Okay, so we have two. Going under my third. I take it, I basically wrap it around, that's just my preference, and I pull it under. Okay. And I pull it under. And making sure that I'm staying on the same braid. It's going to continue around and I'll come back and show you when I transfer onto circulars.
So there you have it, my crafty knitters. Um, how to pick up stitches off of an I-cord. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, please feel free to email me any questions or uh, request at Dana. Dana at knitoaks.com. Thank you. And remember, knitting is sexy. Bye. Keep your body warm and such a day with a smile.